Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series we're going to be running on the channel. It's been a while since we've done a survival crafting game and Enshrouded is in the middle of uh, its development. It's it's looking pretty nice so I thought we would hop on in and take a look at it. Let's uh, uh, give me a moment. I'm going to get a character created uh, off camera just so you don't have to sit there for 20 minutes uh, while I run through this. And then we'll pick the game up shortly. Now, I suspect we're probably... Oh my god, he actually looks quite a lot like me. Uh, we're, we're probably going to uh, do about half an hour to 40 minutes of footage each episode. But we're going to run this for a little bit of time. Uh, so do be sure to stick around. Give me a moment and I'll be right back. All right, that didn't actually take that long to tweak, just needed to, to sort out the beard and a little bit of the hair colouring. Uh, we're going to hop in. It's going to be a private game. Uh, this is multiplayer, so if you want to play with your friends, uh, that's definitely something that you can do. And we're going to have a brand new world. It is not going to be called My World 1. But stank, that's what we'll call it. Let's, let's get in there. Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was a cure, a blessing, a weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. So slightly addictive. Humanity dug the elixir wells ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood. A drop for a drop. But from the depths of the well, an unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. The Shroud. A ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the Flameborn. Now, your time has come. Awake. All right, that cutscene was a little bit quiet, so hopefully I remember to up the volume in post. But yeah, this is where we come in. Okay, so we, we've literally been forged. Looks like they did a pretty good job, though. Okay, let's have a look around and see what we've got. We've got jumping. We've got running. We've got dodging. Crouching. Okay. Things we can do. Our new location charted. Ooh, warmth and comfort. Okay, let's commune with the flame. You slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the shroud. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Okay, we can do that. We've got six minutes of rested buff. I think we're going out through the main door. And we have to claim a spot for our base. Okay, do we have like a map? We do. Oh, cool. And it's, uh, it's got a recommended place for us to go to. I love that transition from inside to outside. The uh, the difference in brightness level. That's very cool to see. Ow. <laughs> it's important to test these things. I gotta say, this is a this is a pretty pretty game. Right, a vast world awaits you filled with secrets and peril. Press I and navigate to the map to track your discoveries. So I actually just takes us yes straight to the map. And J is our journal, and this is our like quest. Claim a spot for your base. Okay. So Embervale quest, flameball quest, and then completed stuff. We've got crafting. 
You can quickly navigate to different categories by selecting the icons. I'm assuming that's on the left there. All discovered recipes are saved. Ingredients that we need. Oh, and we can pin recipes if we're planning on building something specific. That's kind of cool. And it looks like there's going to be leveling up and stuff. We can't interact with this any further. But what's this over here? Hello. On the flame and its murmurs. Pure light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed. Protects it in a flaming core. Wisdom far beyond my own imagination. I could stare into the fire for hours seeking answers. A whisper, but I hear none. Despite possessing a voice, it only speaks to those born from the flame. A shame, as I believe we could have had quite enlightened conversations. As Balthazar. Okay, so he's an alchemist and... Wait, did he die here? Oh my god, we just... <laughs> we can make a wand from his bones. Alright. Uh, maybe we won't do that right this second. So, it wants us to go like 130 meters down there. It's actually highlighting the area. I suspect down is going to be through this cave over here. So let's, uh, let's head across. Can we harvest from trees? Well, we can do damage to it. The, uh... The stance for, like, fighting and moving forwards is very interesting. Well, we have... have knocked off some wood. may not be the most efficient way of doing this. Oh, cool, we took the entire thing down. So we've got some wood there, wood logs and twigs. Let's um let's check our crafting. So we can we can make the flame altar if we get stone. So that's gonna be how we build our thing. Oh we can make a club now. Cool. It's gonna take six six logs to build a club. Or we can make a campfire for two. Let's make a club for now. We need more bones for a wand. That's kind of funny. So, having got a club made. Hey! Look at this. That's going to do more damage. So, no, no twigs or grasses to harvest there. We could probably knock down more trees, but I think let's just keep moving. Oh, look! A friendly chest! Hey, torches and bandages. I'm sure those are going to come in very useful. More bandages, more bandages. What if we could deconstruct this? Maybe if we come back later with a, an axe or a pickaxe or something. For now, I suspect we should just move forwards. I kind of want to pick up these... Uh, oh, another torch. I uh, kind of want to pick up the uh, stones on the ground, but... Let's get some light in here. Oh, well, actually, if our wonderful little flamey friend is just going to light the way, we don't need to waste a torch on this. That looks like a potential secret over there. How is it with ladders? Ladders are good. Seven minutes in, and we haven't injured ourselves yet. Although our rested buff is uh, is dropping off quite significantly. Let's. Uh... Can I de equip? Yes, I can. Yeah. Just so we don't waste resources. That's just a little chest hidden there. Another torch. still nice little secret bit. So our current uh, quest is to reach the plains. That's just the edge. That looks like it might be a campfire in itself. And that looks nasty down there. <clears throat> yeah, we are definitely no longer rested. 
So what have we got here? We've got another torch. Flame allows you to resist shroud, but if you linger, you'll perish. Can we beat this guy up and get the bones from him? No. So I guess we're running down into... In fact, you know what? Let's, let's get the torch out for this. Running down into the shroud. Oh, there we go. Enshrouded. Although it's not actually that dark down here. Press tab to lock onto your foes. Control to dodge out of harm's way. Ooh, yep. That's kind of nasty. Also kind of cool. Oh, that's lowering our time that we can be in the shroud, I think. Let's head back out for a moment. Yeah, you see it coming back up. All right. So we've got a five minute limit by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take all of the stuff on this guy. Knowing that there's more in here. Oh. Don't, don't crouch down. That was definitely the wrong button to push. Uh, we should probably use bandage. I'm sure that's going to become more vital as time goes on. Right, so I wonder, is there... Is there anything to actually loot down in here? Like, can we do anything with this? It didn't drop anything interesting. That's that's the answer. So I suspect this area is is just to show us that the shroud is a thing. Tell you what, I'm glad I made my club. And back out we go. Let's uh, see if we can knock that over. Yes, we can. Cool. In that case, there is definitely a reason to break stuff apart for the resources. Ooh. Metal scraps, we can make lockpicks. That means that there's going to be lockable things. And that was our first stone, actually. Wait, does that mean we could just... No, we can't just punch walls. So the stone must have come from something specific. Let's get the old club back out. We're almost healed up. That bandage did well. Ooh, if you fall, you will rise again at your last return beacon. I guess this is a return beacon. Let's have a look at the map. Nothing specifically marked other than the plans for the first base. I suspect there's going to be loads of stuff for us to explore and find. That looks like bones down there. Be a bit careful. Training dummies. How uh, how introductory. So we're going to want to go in there. What's these? Oh, we can harvest them. Hey, berries. And plant fiber for things. Hey, and proper stones. Is that corn? Just casually growing out in well, right, let's let's check our backpack. We've actually got a shield. Interesting. Let's pull this down. What's the sword like? Eleven damage. It's about the same as the club. Probably better to keep the club for 
for our uh, for going up against the skeletons. There's the metal scraps. There's stones. Equipable terrain materials. What are berries like? Bit of health regen. Okay. They're, they're fair enough. Wood logs, twigs, what's these? Shroud spores. And runes. Plenty of interesting stuff. Oh, cool. We've got two action bars, actually. Okay, well... Oh, right, it's, it's actual equipment. That's an interesting idea. Well, I mean, we've, we've got a shield, so that's, that's better than nothing. We could make more if we got string. We can make string from a plant fiber. And we would need that to make an axe. Which would be useful for us for cutting wood. Construction of hammer. We need all our stone for the flame altar. Let's make some string. Then we can make an axe and a pickaxe. Okay, we don't have enough twigs for a pickaxe, but with our axe, we can at least do some shifting of stuff around. Okay, that doesn't need to be there. That doesn't need to be there. Can these stack? No, they can't. So our weapon should, should be on three, ideally. Our axe can be on two as a tool. Healing can be on eight and seven. That'll, that'll do for now. Let's do a little bit of harvesting. See how good the axe is at taking down trees. That's a significantly stronger hit. What's that? Resin. Wood logs. Wood logs. No twigs this time. Maybe we need smaller trees in order to get twigs. Alright, let's, uh, let's head in through the main entrance. Can, can we harvest the honey from the bees? Well, wax. Not honey. Hey, there's some more twigs. And mushrooms, apparently. Oh, this game is going to be so fun. Right, we can make ourselves that pickaxe. No, we still need two more twigs. There's two more twigs. Oh yeah, there was honey on the ground as well. Okay. So at the very least, we have better tools available. So I want my pickaxe on one. What's a red mushroom like? Plus one intelligence for 10 minutes. Interesting. Let's put buffs on the second bar. Resin and wax are just ingredients. 23 wood logs and a bone, of course. Yeah, that's also a buff. We're not far away from the place it's encouraging us to go to. I'll equip with the shield, press block. Okay, so we can specifically parry attacks. That's kind of interesting. I don't want to waste the durability of the weapon by hitting that thing. This is long keep. 
I suspect there's going to be quite a lot of harvesting to do here. Hey, level two. 150 XP for finding long keep. Ooh, which means a skill point. So in to skills. Oh my word. So we've got a lot of potential directions we could go with this. Felling axes do 30% more damage against wooden objects, including trees. Get extra resources, tools, loot. I'd like to get quality gear so we don't have to make stuff as frequently. So maybe we'll start with Lumberjack. Sneak attack takes three skill points to learn. Merciless attack could be an interesting one to get, but we're probably not going to go after that much combat initially. Let's go for Lumberjack. Then we'll go quality gear as soon as we can. And move on from there. More twigs and plant fiber. Now we did see some bones up here. Wait, is that a goat? That is a goat. There's an extra bone, so if this does actually work, and it looks like it does, we'll be able to make ourselves a wand and uh, maybe do some ranged stuff. Not convinced that that's actually a good effective way of harvesting. Sorry goat, but I kind of need to find out. Yeah, animal fur and lean meat definitely something we can do. There's a little door up there. Let's get some more bones. Look at this little place. Get a torch out. There's some berries, but I suspect that those have been there for a while. Painting. And a dude. Don't leave my side. Jasmina? Is it true? The ancients call upon you to stay behind as the rest of us slumber? Will you be there when I awake? Please, you cannot leave my side. You are my all. Why oh, must we change? I miss the old days when we used to travel together, side by side. You let me linger next to you. You held my hand. And now, all this secrecy. For what? I thought you could confide in me. I don't want the ancients to drive us apart. I'll lose all faith. If you must go, at least give me a farewell kiss. All my heart, Emily. At the very least, we're getting more bones and some old books. That's kind of cool. Doesn't actually look like there was anything extra to loot there. I wonder what's down from here. Oh, there's another whole other place. This all looks uh, pretty run down. And of course the uh, skeleton on the bed, getting more bones. Can't take any of the weapons off the thing. Wait, what's that? Oh, ho, 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 ho. game, game, you are exciting me with these secrets. A health potion and wooden arrows. Yeah, I think we're really going to kind of need light for a lot of the time. I wonder how quickly you're expected to make it here. We just... Loot the animal fur? Yes, we can. That's another health potion. More bones. So this is just a bit off to the side where we hopped up. Yeah. It's down here. That's a rat. Well, 
rats are thankfully easy enough to take out. Got some more string. This torch is running low. This looks like it goes outside, outside. What the hell is that? More precisely, what the hell are you? Ow. Probably should have tried to block that. That was quite painful. Right, let's uh, get some bandages going. Not convinced that being down here is a smart move. Let's head back into this compound area. We'll leave the goat alive. Oh, we're cold. What's in here? Hello. Captain's Journal, Day 1. Hold the chamber to your last breath. These were the words of the Ancient One before he entered with a handful of our best warriors. It was the first time I'd seen one of his kind, and I expect it will be the last. His face is burned in my mind. My life, and those of my remaining soldiers, are pledged to the sacred duty. Yeah, take the string, whatever we can manage from this. There is. Is that some charcoal? Ooh. Interesting. Got some metal scraps. We can sleep. Alright, maybe we should do that. Is sleeping going to rest us and heal us? Or is it just going to move things through to morning? I mean, at the very least, it got us, got us out of the dark. Okay, I don't think we actually explored this area properly. So let's head back round. button. Yeah, it feels like there's a whole section there that we haven't been to. Let's, uh, let's do a left wall hug round here. So this is where we came out previously. There is definitely something in there. Well, we got some meat from it, whatever it is. In fact, going in here. Oh no, this is where we came down before, isn't it? Yeah. What a cool place. I wonder if we can jump across there. We might be able to. We might take some damage if we fall, though. Let's... Way too easy to open the inventory. Ooh, what's this? It's another book. And some metal scraps. And a fireplace. And some meat. Okay, I think we're going to do some cooking. Finally, a break from the tedious work. My bones are sore, but the warmth of a fire and a little shelter and some sleep should allow me to become well rested. Food is getting scarce. I hear they're planning an expedition. Thankfully, I hid some rations below my bed. They'll make for a nice meal when cooked over a fire. Well, I don't think we want to knock the bed up. But 
we can grab all of this. Okay. Interact with campfires to cook food. Sit near them with X to become rest in the wilds. Okay. Place food in your action bar to cook it. So we need to go... It's, we've already got stuff on the alt. Uh, I think we're just going to want to cook the meat. Release to finish. Can you burn stuff? Oh, that looks done. Okay. That looks done. I don't really want to burn any. That's a health potion, we can't cook that. Can we cook mushrooms? No, but we ate it. That's, that's a bit of a shame, but let's have a look. What's this gonna do? Plus one constitution for 20 minutes. That's pretty good. In terms of buffs, let's uh, have a berry so we get some health regen. And carry on exploring. Plenty more logs and wood and things. A hey, in another chest with another health potion. Yeah, we're definitely not at the point where we need health potions on our action bar, but I suspect that's going to change pretty quickly. There is a lot to explore here, that's for certain. A little bit of an archery testing place. And what's this? Is this part of the shroud? It is. Well, we're definitely doing more damage to trees with that lumberjacking. Let's get out of the shroud. Might need to make ourselves another club at some point. Oh, I like the banner. That's very cool. I think we should go back up and try and get across there. But also, I kind of want to read this thing. We held out hope digging through the rubble, our lips whispering prayers to the ancients. Always a watchful eye towards the horizon, even in this furthest corner of the world. The shroud threatens to engulf us and seal away any ray of hope. As the air grew thick with that cursed fog, we held on. As fires raged on the horizon, ash falling like snow on Howling Pike, we pushed harder. May this home, long kept, usher us into the bright age. Cool, more stones. That is vital for what we're going to be doing. Hello? Well, we've got another book down here. The shroud looms. The blue jays no longer drift so carelessly through the air. Something is changing. A nebula flows towards us. Springs from the abyss like a tidal wave. They call it the shroud. It carries disease and suffering. Changes soil and people. I must understand this madness, but discovering a remedy will be difficult. The supply lines cut by the soldiers. That's another one from Balthazar. And yeah, it comes underground, doesn't it? What's this over here? Twigs, torn cloth. 
So there's a few things to look. Hey, there was a chest behind. Ooh, that needs a lockpick. Do I have enough metal scraps to make a lockpick now? I do. Bandages and health potion. I feel that was a worthwhile trade. Got some more string, got some more wood logs. All right, I think we leave this place. I don't think it's going to be worth us staying down here. Out of that accursed shroud. Let's uh, let's see if we can head back up. Can I jump up this way? No, I can't. We'll head back up, and we'll try and make it across the jump that I failed last time. Where was it? Over here. That's better. Another health potion. Not bad. And stairs that lead down to where we were previously. Sort of. Tiny spots of shroud all over the place. Okay, that might be it for long keep. There was something at the well. Water is a great source of vitality. Drink to enhance your stamina and regenerate it faster. Oh, cool. Literally, this just stocks us up with water. Plus one endurance, plus two stamina recharge. Great. Can, can, we, can we get more? It's like there's no reason to not have a whole bunch of water on us unless it weighs. Well, there is more to explore, isn't there? So that's just plain water. big pile of mess and crap. Doesn't look like we can actually get through that way. Let's try going round. That's some kind of rabbit. Okay. We're not far from where it wants us to set up our base. So let's get that done and then we can we can wrap up this episode. It does indeed look like an okay space. We'll read our journal in just a moment. I just want to find out what that noise was on the other side of the... of the wall that we were at. Now, nothing specific, it's just a... Uh, just a gross, goopy bit. Alright, let's, uh, let's go and construct the flame altar. It looks like there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of buffs, so I'm going to need to get in the habit of actually utilising the resources available to me. Sure, I'll take some spare furs. Thanks. 
All right, let's uh, let's check the journal. So in the quests, play multiple will mark a spot for your base. In your base, you'll be able to craft and build, craft play multiple and place it to establish. You don't have to place it in the planes. You could choose any above shroud area to establish your base. Well, that's yeah, pretty straightforward. So we'll do it here. Uh, I assume we can build more. And yeah, let's put it on our alt. So where do we want to put it? I'd like to put it up somewhere high, but we might need to uh, to move around. Oh, I see, and it gives like a nice little zone around for it. Well, let's start here for now. That seems good enough. And we'll commune with the flame. You are not alone. There are other survivors. Drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid you in your journey. Go gently. On beckons nearby, just outside of the shroud's grasp. Okay. If we upgrade the altar, it'll extend the building range. Can strengthen the flame in order to get more time in the shroud. That's cool. And ultra activation capacity, interesting. But we need a hell of a lot of stuff for that. Uh, and we can reset skill points if we have runes. Okay, so if we want to change things around. Extinguishing flame to remove your flame altar. That's kind of cool. And upgrading the altar needs shroud call. Well, we'll start here and we can always move to a new location. Uh, if, if that looks like a thing we want to do. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Enshrouded. See you soon.